Hey there, quick community appreciation video today. Um, I have a coaching community and uh, like it's a closed community where my coaching students are, that my coaching students are a part of and also my academy, our academy students, our flagship online course, people who took that course, they are in there. And today was a very, there was a very beautiful moment that I, I really, really enjoyed and it just made me so happy. So I wanted to share it. There was somebody in our community uh, was posting about how he struggled with imposter syndrome and not feeling like he's making progress fast enough or feeling stuck, you know, insecure, not confident enough with what he's doing, stuff like that. Things we all battle with, like things we all um, struggle with and uh, things we all know and encounter on our journeys. And especially I think with, um, I think as creatives, when we do creative work where there are no hard rules and no clear guidelines to follow, it can be kind of hard to trust the process and to trust ourselves and to be proud of our work and to know whether or not something is good enough and whether or not we're making progress. So I think we all know that and we, we can relate. And somebody was posting about that and asking the community about how they deal with that. And then immediately a couple of people chimed in and wrote like long replies, like um, uplifting, motivating, positive replies, immediately helping the person out and offering advice and sharing their story. And, you know, it was this beautiful sense of community um, where people cheer each other on and and immediately help each other. And I don't know how to, how to describe it. It just made me super happy. I just watched this. I witnessed this. And uh, it was a very, very, very cool thing to see. And it just goes to show also how important community is, how important it is to connect with your peers as a creative, as an artist. And especially these days when so many people are making music at home in their bedrooms, um, even before COVID, but during COVID, obviously even more, um, oftentimes people are isolated, doing everything on their own. And I think it's very important to try to connect with other people, to try to reach out to people, to not be isolated, to not be alone, to get feedback, to be part of a community. Uh, because we all go through these lows, through these low moments, and we need other people to cheer us on, to say something positive, to um, help us believe in ourselves and if you can't do it in real life because you're in a remote location somewhere or you're, you're in the middle of nowhere and there's no scene or whatever, then try to do it online. Try to find a community. Um, just try to connect and, and reach out to people. I, I, I think it's just so, so important. And um, yeah, just made me happy. So I wanted to share that. So if you are home alone, working on some creative things or building something, doing something, writing music, whatever you do, and you feel stuck and isolated and insecure from time to time, then uh, please try and find yourself a small community of people that um, help you out if you need it. All right, and if you know somebody, that's even more important, I think, that's the final thing I wanna say here. If you know somebody who is like that and has that problem, and they are maybe too shy to reach out or don't do it for whatever reason, maybe just offer help or advice or feedback or collaboration or, you know, um, maybe just just help someone overcome this if you know they're struggling with this. That's maybe even the better, the more important thing to say here um, because sometimes it's hard to reach out. Sometimes we definitely need to, but it's hard to actually do. So if you know somebody like that, maybe just offer a helping hand or advice or some just some positive words, you know. All right, uh, that's it for today. These were my thoughts. Hope you had a great day and talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.